Old Europe is looking less and less European these days, and that's giving rise to a clash of cultures. Correspondent Greg Burke reports from Brussels. When you think about Brussels, Belgium, you tend to think about the heart of old Europe, a city that's been standing there for centuries, a place where visitors find lots of excellent beers and very fine chocolates. Think again. Think about one of the biggest and youngest Muslim populations in Europe. Right-wing Belgians are worried for their future. It's terrifying me and it's, it's a threat for everybody who lives in Brussels. And it's, it's, it's important to know that the capital of Europe, Brussels is the capital of Europe, will be Islamized within 10, 20 years. Belgium needed immigrant workers in the 1960s and 70s, but integration didn't come easily for the Moroccans and Turks who arrived. While there are no hard figures, as much as 25% of the city is Muslim. Molenbeek is a part of Brussels with one of the largest percentage of Muslim residents. The socialist mayor of Molenbeek thinks Belgians of different creeds can learn to live together. Ils sont là. Be realistic. They're here, they're relatively numerous, and they're growing. Do you want your children and grandchildren to live a kind of civil war, or do you want them to live in peace? The imam of one of the city's main mosques takes a similar line, saying everyone's in the same boat and has to work together so the boat doesn't sink. The mosque shows the vibrancy of the Moroccan community in Molenbeek, with thousands showing up for Friday prayers. But there are problems. The neighborhood is so dangerous police gave us an escort while taping and told us it would be safer to stay in the car. It's a double danger, both rampant street crime and anti-Western sentiment. Some Belgians claim Muslim enclaves are forming in Brussels and charge that the government is bending over backwards to appease the Islamic community. It's not the Muslims who are integrating in our society, but it is our society who, who adapts to the demands uh, of radical Islam. While Molenbeek may not be the breeding ground for jihadists that some claim it is, dozens of North Africans have been arrested in Belgium over the last few years on terror charges. In Europe they're already talking about what big city will be the first to have a Muslim majority. Could be here in Brussels. The United States, of course, is still a long way away from that, but if America does have anything to learn from Europe, it's that the lack of integration in the Muslim community comes with a very heavy price. In Brussels, Greg Burke, Fox News.